fished White River growing up as a kid. That's where I learned to paddle. And about, I don't know, six or eight years ago, the, uh, the Asian carp started moving in that section of river. A friend was doing an article for Eastern Fly Fishing on that section of the White River, and we uh, went to go do some pictures. We were going to float it for him. He was out of town and needed some pictures, so my cousin and I were going to float it for him and, and get some pictures, and all we ended up getting was uh, every paddle stroke, every fifth paddle stroke, the, the river just exploded with, with Asian carp. Um, it was the first time it really affected my fishing, and I really noticed what the potential for the damage was. Since then, they've moved up uh, up White River, they've moved up Salt Creek, they're at the base of uh, Monroe Dam, they're at the base of Patoka Lake. Uh, today, out here at Oakdale Dam, there, we've got them everywhere. So it seems like, um, it seems like the bass are just getting pushed out of their, their natural areas. Um, where you would normally find bass, you're starting to find carp, you know, just uh, what you think is, uh, you think you're casting for bass and all of a sudden you just see a dozen carp move through and they'll blow out. Um, you know, so it, it's very, um, it's, it's kind of disheartening seeing all these changes. Uh, wow, so we just turned the motor on here and these things started jumping all over. This one jumped in the boat. I had to jump out of the way, just about got drilled with it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is a silver carp. Here in Indiana, a lot of people don't know, but Asian carp have actually infested many of, this, of our southern waterways all the way up to the central part of the state. So, um, and what they do, they're, 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 they're sort of resource vacuums. They just suck up all the resources out from underneath all of our, our native uh, fish and other wildlife aquatic species that rely on those things. So uh, what we see once Asian carp make it into a waterway is that they start to outcompete the things that we really like to see. So the reason that people come to Indiana to fish in our rivers, because they like to see, you know, our largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, crappie, bluegill, all the different kinds of panfish. Uh, those things are becoming way less prevalent in our waterways because Asian carp are, are, are essentially eating